Hi Pisces, how are you? It is me, Michelle, and this is gonna be your sole purpose reading. Again, this is like a new series that I'm starting, so I hope you guys like it. And with that said, uh, let's take a quick look at what the universe has for you, okay? Let's see what's going on. What is the messages that they have for you? As usual, this is going to be a general reading. This is not, my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will and not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Uh, please remember that, you know, the roles could be reversed or, you know, take it how it resonates. That's pretty much what I can say here. And again, please remember that these are still general readings. They're not personal. So please keep that in mind. And again, I've been getting some like uh, very like, harsh comments please if you have something negative to say keep it to yourself because i am gonna block the message that you post like the comment is gonna get blocked deleted and most definitely you will end up hidden from my channel so please do not bully others or do not leave horrible comments because it's gonna be a little bit of a waste because i'm not gonna even interact with you guys i'm going just to delete whoever commented that horrible message or comment and i'm gonna block you from my channel or hide you from it so it's your call there so let's see what is the message for pisces what is their sole purpose let's see what your ancestors and angels want you to know so we got priestess we got the great gathering this is this is called by the way work your light oracle light i mean oracle cards we got Lemuria. So it says right here, how are you being called to step up and lead? Question mark. The great gathering says it else. It it's all coming together. Intuitive hit. Soul tribe. Creating heaven on earth is happening. So, OK, Pisces, you are a very intuitive and psychic creature. OK, you have very amazing powers, very intense powers. Um, sometimes you feel a little bit different than others. You feel a little bit like an outcast. You feel misunderstood. Sometimes you feel too, too much. And it could be overwhelming. But you are a leader, okay? People follow you. People look up to you. There is a, a chance that you might lead uh, or that your sole purpose is to lead people who are just like you. To create your own a little soul tribe okay pretty much they want you to create heaven on earth to make your state here the best thing the best thing that you can actually feel like home because like i said before you are a divine creature pisces you're not from this earth you're already doing it stop overthinking keep fa uh, facing your true north the initiation right passage okay you are awakening now a lot of things might be happening surrounding you and it's a little bit confusing and scary but it's telling you to not be afraid of the storm keep on walking because always after the night the sun comes up always after the storm the rainbow will show up so you're just doing it sometimes you feel like you're not doing a lot because sometimes at uh, Pisces you can be an overachiever and you got to keep in mind that in this on this earth we can do so much okay so you're actually just not giving up just pretty much putting up an example a good example using your in, like your gifts for good helping other people who needs it that is your heaven on earth they want you to answer your call that's what i heard take a break a life's work not assess a season get off the treadmill so like i said before you could be an overachiever you could be doing a lot because again you're an overachiever so when you do things like normally like what people will do you think you're not doing it right or that you're not doing anything at all but it's not true you're actually doing it but you need to take a break because you're gonna overwork yourself play have fun celebrate don't be so serious so right now they want you to take care of yourself that's only not only physically but mentally and all of it because you're working too hard you're working too too hard and they feel that like you might be losing yourself and work and workaholic because they want you to do what you need to do in life go at the speed that you need to do but you're going too fast you're moving too fast and you're gonna get tired and you're gonna give up before you reach the goal because you're going too fast because you want to get there too quickly and the part of uh, awakening and transformation is the journey Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand behind you. So right now, 
they want you to take care of earth i don't know why you're here i'm not sure i'm going to tell you a couple things you're here to protect others you're here to protect earth you're here to represent you're here to bring again heaven to earth to guide people to find their light do things that not only makes you feel good but do good to others you are here to show people that there is that there is good out there you're not alone if you feel alone like i said before you can be feeling misunderstood you might feel like out of place but you're not alone there's a lot of ancestors and angels watching you and keeping you safe sisterhood of the rose beauty and devotion priestess mystic teacher so right now this could be the uh, two different ways you're gonna be meeting somebody that's gonna help you and like lead you and they're telling me if you have seen this um if you're seeing this video is the first step uh they want you to know that you're not alone that that there's people like you out there um it could be physically it could be online uh they want you to know through me that being watching this video is the first step for you to to find who you really are and what are you meant for to do on an exact exact stand because they're gonna give you a basic thing here because again this is general but you're here to lead you're here to teach people but right now you need to find your soul tribe you need to find your people you need to find the right people to start your journey because if you have not right now you haven't found it transformation things are changing on a cellular level deep healing like i said before you're going through transformation like a big ass transformation is not gonna be easy because a lot of people are gonna leave you behind i'm telling you people who do not understand your gifts people who do not understand who you really are are going to be like you changed pisces yes you're gonna change but you're gonna change for good you're also gonna be healing past traumas and half of the time is for uh we gotta face our fears to heal from those for that pain align your life what is not aligned or needs to change question mark like right now this transformation that you're going to be going through is to align your life so you can find your center so you can see clear and you have a clear direction of where you're supposed to go but again they're telling you to find your soul tribe and i don't know why it's not because it's in my channel but they're telling you to stay here i'm not sure why inner inner temple devotion tune into the portal of your heart so right now they want you to uh meditate they want you to start meditating they want you to start doing reiki if you don't know what reiki is it's like healing through energies of course this is a vague uh, uh description of reiki it's a lot more so you can always look it up online but they want you to start with reiki because they feel like you are a healer as well uh, if you are looking like what should i do with my gift what is my gift the first thing you should know that is that you are a healer and that you should look into reiki because a lot of people will be beneficial it's going to be beneficial for you and a lot of people the crumbling what are you clinging on to so right now like i said before you're gonna go through the tower moment so a lot of things that used to be so simple are gonna be difficult um you're gonna lose a lot of people not dying but like people that they're not serving you or they're not gonna serve your highest good for this for your true purpose in life they're gonna be left behind um you could actually lose your job i'm so sorry you could actually lose a lot of things that is gonna be like whoa why am i doing why is it happening is because that's how life ha that's how the transformation is gonna happen but once you lose the things that you thought they were good for you right away you're gonna get a window and you're gonna get something a lot better that's gonna be more alike to what you do for a living more alike of what you actually look for a partner perhaps or even a friendship and i always put myself as an example because i mean i can only talk about my own experiences for example before youtube and before i did all of this um i lost some of my hours due to covid19 when this all started i used to work i still work on a target but things used to be a little bit different you know and when that hot when that hit right i lost a lot of my hours and i'm a single mom so imagine the situation that i was going Going crazy because i was like very worried about things you know but i was you know blessed to still have a car uh, not car a job but i decided to start doing youtube and look at this it is work because i put passion i put time i put a lot of my energies but it's something that i love to do and i would have never put myself here if like things wouldn't happen like that because it was like my tower moment at that point at that point i was like what am i supposed to do 
also my parents were back went back to Puerto Rico and all of that situation that I felt alone and I was like oh my goodness but it was a moment for me to understand that I'm stronger than I think and that I need to work for what I'm given so I was able to fly, to find resources and look at me now I'm fine you know I'm better than ever or better than I was back then so again don't see this as oh my goodness I'm so worried you're gonna be just fine this is a blessing in disguise you're so powerful Pisces you can do so much more but the universe and spirit and your ancestors they want to put you on the right place and right now they feel that they feel that you're not on the right place and that your gifts and your power should be used elsewhere so right Right now that's why they're going to do the tower moment for you because otherwise you will not let it go and it's not like I want to put my life out there but like I said before I just know me <laughs> and I can like talk about other people's experiences without them knowing so I put my life out there the best I can so I hope this inspire you or give you a clear idea of what I meant. Then we got protection, call back your power, cut the cords, soul retrieval. So you're very powerful, but like I said before, for you to find your true self, for you to find that deep connection that, you're, that I'm talking about, you need to cut the cord with toxic people. And that's what the tower moment is all about. Warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? So this says woman, but it has nothing to do with gender. It's the motherly love the motherly you know when and i can tell you about that us moms we will go through hell and back when no hesitation for our kids and they're telling you right now that is the energies you have regardless if you're a mom or so if you are a woman or so it doesn't really matter is that you are a warrior because you will fight through anything and they're telling you right now that to be ready to be prepared for this transformation but you're gonna be just Fine, you're gonna be a winner you have to start believing in your power believing in yourself you cannot always relay on to other people okay like I know twin flames and soulmates are an amazing topic but you have yourself and you have higher levels of protection that will make you go through whatever it is that you need to go through but you're gonna be just fine because you have the strength and the courage and you have the capability of doing it okay dance with life do something to charge your energies right now they want you to dance they want you to have fun they want you to release they want you to be flexible and be free they feel that you're so caged in they want you to be free you're not born to be caged in it's time to release pillar of light your vibration is rising you are the oracle you have the answers you are the oracle it's a representation like you are the answers okay you have the answers you have the power of your future you have the power of your presence so take that vibration higher like um like raise your vibration and connect with your higher self connect with your ancestors and you'll see that your the answers that you've been looking for you'll find them you have the answers because you are the oracle Deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be held. Like I said before, they want you to rest. Unbound, release soul patterns, conscious and past lives. So if you're very hooked in a soulmate connection, it's time to release that. Because if you don't release that, you are bound to repeat the same patterns. Right now, there's a clinginess or something that you don't want to let go. And that situation ship, hold on, my son. And that's why we're talking about the tower moment because you need to release that. You need to release that. This could be also an ex. This could be also toxic friends, toxic families that you need to let go because the only way to release is to let go of that because otherwise you're bound to repeat the same mistakes. Let's see. Let me go back. They want you to release and take time for yourself. They feel like you're overworked. You're burnt out, mentally so tired. You're, they know that you're very tired and they want you to take care of yourself. They're like encouraging you to take care of yourself. <laughs> Something else that you want to tell them? The Great Gathering. It's all coming together, intuitive hits, soul tribe. So those answers that you're looking for, anything, or this is like your answer for whatever question you have. If you have been seeing multiple numbers, if you have been hearing ear, like rings on your ear, if you have been seeing things or feeling strange things, if you have been like having like 
situation that you like see something and then it happens in real life like a dream and then it happens in real life those are hints of like telling you that your psychic abilities are growing and they're rising mirror who or what is triggering you but again there's something with a twin flame or a, or a soulmate that needs to be resolved that could be a closure as well you know leap you go first the universe will catch you and right now they're telling you if you take that leap of faith and believe in the universe and take that leap of faith of like releasing and like do what you are very passionate about because you know this you know what you're passionate about you're about to help people you're about to serve to the community you are all about to like follow as an example in this job that you want or this situation that you want might seem a little odd to others but you're not here to be understood you're here to be followed because a leader right starts a trend you a leader is always the beginner of something and then people will follow so that is the thing about you pisces you are a leader and that's the thing you have nowhere to follow because you are the first one and how to become the leader that you are born to be, you need to take that leap of faith. And then double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. You're here to help the humanity, Pisces. You're heal, here to heal, to help understand people, to connect them. You are like a portal from the from skies to from the from the heavens or you know a different reality maybe um, if you want to call it differently you are that portal that's what i heard one more to finish this reading please thank you spirit the age of light you've been training for this for lifetimes don't be scared you are more than prepared for this it's gonna be different it's gonna be different it's gonna be difficult but you are just okay you're gonna be just fine so don't doubt yourself don't doubt your power because you were born for this you know this, but you're born for this. If you need a confirmation, you're born for this. You're going to be just fine. Whatever it is that I'm talking about, you're ready for this. And before I go, and like I get people, like I said, I get a lot of Pisces who are very spicy. If you want clear answers, I do offer personal readings. But if you don't, this is how it's going to be because Spirit told me that they don't want to put people's business out there so if somebody here is a baby witch or a witch in the closet that is why they're keeping everything as secret or as private as they can my spirits are very very wise so please be respectful towards their decisions so one and another one please We got clear your space and chakra clearing. So clear your space, it says get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you and use Feng Shui. Then we got chakra cleaning, call upon, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. Like I said before, it's about clearing, clearing, clearing. So this is the end of your reading. This is a new thing that I'm doing. I hope it has helped you to find some sort of answers. I hope this video finds the souls and the energies who need to hear this. Again, thank you so much for the support. Um, please like and subscribe and I'll be back with multiple series and multiple videos for all of you, my loves. Thank you so much. I love you forever and you guys have a blessed day.